Look at the difference there. That's disgusting. I mean, you still see like, I think it was like, it's almost like it's bleach. Those are like bleach. Those yeah, are, some, some those kind aren't of, even like really probably stained. spread on here that they yeah. shouldn't have. But look at the difference in there. Look at that. Enjoy. Yeah. That is oh. just from this. That is just the back and this tailgate. Mm -hmm. All right, so what are we doing today, honey? Detailing. We're cleaning the Land Cruiser. All right, so we got our home. Babe, do you think you can get sponsored by Bissell Little Green? Yeah, Bissell Little Green, you want to <laughs> sponsor the video? We have a lot of things. Nature. Introducing the Bissell Little Green Clean Machine. It works really good, actually. So if you don't want to buy an expensive uh, steam cleaner, well, it'll probably work better, but this works really good. <clears throat> hey. Yeah. What you doing back there? I sit in here. Oh, yeah? And we got a new truck. <laughs> and that's all. Um, <laughs> we got out. And we need to clean that truck. You're going to clean it up? Yeah, clean it up. Is it? Is it happy Father's Day. Hello, Father's Day. Oh yeah, and it's Father's Day. Woo! Clean my truck. So we're sweating in hundred degree heat to clean Daddy's truck on Father's Day because we love him. It's better than staying so inside. Much. I don't know. Is there confusion in there? Yeah. And there's a really serious. No All right. way. Wait. <laughs> you no want to tell him what's going on? Yeah. Tell him. So tell them that we got it inspected and we're going to make a whole different video about that. We'll talk about all the uh, all the issues that we found and how ridiculous Toyota is, but we'll talk about that later. But we're cleaning the car today. Just going to show you around, just going to show you how it came to me before we actually get it all clean. You just saw how the stain difference was here. But yeah, overall it's not it's not bad. Uh, but I'll bring you around the car, show you like everything, how it looks and so forth. Uh, let's go. Okay, what is this, Hads? What is this? To watch the movies. Yeah, but does it work? No. No, it doesn't work, Rhett. So we, I, Daddy's got to try to figure out see if I can fix that, Daddy, so Mama, Little Miss Mama, can watch the movies in the back. Mommy, uh, Mama. Yeah, that doesn't work right now. Do you see? Um, overall, the interior is uh, it's really good. It's actually a really good condition. This, I mean, for being so old, you probably can't see it very well in here, but there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of scratches in here. This is peeling off. Uh, so I'm probably actually, gonna, there's actually just nice black underneath it. I'm probably just gonna peel it all off and just have it be black. Uh, but I'm gonna pull this up, probably paint this. Uh, either paint it or wrap it. We'll see how difficult a wrap would be. I'm really like having two difficult things. All right, cup holder. I already got trash in here. So this right here, there's a big gouge here, so if you look, it comes into this corner, and when it's open, you can feel this edge, and it's actually really sharp. Um, so that kind of causes that problem. Not a huge deal for me. Um, it's gonna have some wear and tear. That's where you actually put the DVDs in there. A uh, little extra storage, so forth. Um, excuse me, excuse me, okay. Um, <laughs> and a little more storage right there. Uh, it's got a sunroof, everything works. Uh, Opens, tilts, all that stuff. Works great. Ow. Oh, watch your hand. Watch your fingers, lady. Ow. 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 Open it. Everything else is really good condition. What's funny is usually you see all these stickers uh, and they're falling apart and everything like that, but this is actually uh, really well taken care of. This is all nice. It's just, this right here is the super dated, uh, but it works, everything works. Uh, AC was not working, but I recharged it. It seems to be working now. Uh, there might be a leak uh, we'll figure that stuff out later like i said we'll talk about all the problems in another video so these uh actually really good condition i think they're probably been replaced because usually the seats are worn but that one is just as good as this one um but they were very dry uh i bought some leather stuff they're still a little bit dry uh but trying to trying to moisture moisten them up uh but they're getting a lot better uh, very good condition not torn all right the exterior obviously has uh Signs of use, marks like that, kind of all over the place with like some minor scratches. It looks like there was some paint correction done. Uh, you can probably see it right there. Um, yeah, so I mean, there's just signs of use. There was definitely used the roof rack. There were scratches everywhere up there. Um, tires definitely need to be replaced here soon, but I plan on doing uh, new tires and wheels, hopefully uh, in the near future. Uh, we'll replace all those anyways, so. But yeah, everything does work. Latches, everything's good. Here, 
So if you guys can see, I don't know how well you guys can see all that, but it definitely had rust at one point, uh, but they undercoated it actually really well. Uh, it's really not in bad condition at all under here. Uh, the cats were replaced uh, not that long ago. Yeah, so the engine's running good and everything. Door panels, everything is actually really well kept for how old it is. Here's the dash, uh, which has a couple lights on, but like I said, uh, we'll talk about that later. Everything though looks uh, really well. There's some little boy here. I noticed there, I don't know if there's supposed to be some kind of button thing here to to mess with the, the fins, uh, but they're kind of a little out of order, but not a huge deal. All right, and this is the engine. Looks uh, really good, actually. Uh, all the cool and everything was, was good. Um, looks pretty well kept, uh, except for the timing, timing belt. There's no proof of timing belt being done, so I'm probably gonna have to get that done. But overall, uh, everything seems to be a-okay. Here's the front. Uh, here's an issue that I've discovered, uh, water getting into these uh, fog lights. Uh, there's actually more water in this one. It's actually, yeah, it literally is still sitting in there uh, and it hasn't rained in a couple days. So that's an issue. They actually still turn on, uh, but it's like a $44 uh, replacement. So not a huge deal either. And eventually this bumper will probably be gone anyways, but yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't film. Yeah. But yeah, we're gonna continue cleaning. Uh, as you can see, there's some nastiness in the crevices of these seats. Uh, it seems like they kind of just did a quick wipe down before they sent it to me. Um, there's some sticky stuff on that. I don't know how. But yeah, uh, this thing's missing. This little piece in here is missing, uh, but it still works. Still functions. I don't know where I can get one of those. Maybe from Toyota itself. I'll have to try to figure out the part number. But everything, everything works for the most part. Um, there's some issues that came upon, but hopefully I'm going to fix those issues. Most of them I'm going to try to do myself. And there's some that might be a little out of my league. But yeah, man, she's a pretty decent uh, truck for being 2004. So uh, I'm really stoked, and we're going to continue cleaning this car. And yeah, just wanted to guys show you guys around uh, the Land Cruiser, kind of give you guys an update. Yeah, the next video I'm going to talk about uh, everything that is wrong with this car right now, or at least Toyota is saying is wrong with this car and what they gave me and the pricing they gave me. I'm going to give you all that breakdown and kind of explain what's going on. Uh, and yeah, we'll just keep going with this and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye! See you.